For those of you suffering from dry, brittle, dull hair, you don't have to, okay? I've got some tips to share with you. Hopefully some of these you can use today. Some of these you could share with your friends and some of them might not pertain to you, but hey, I gotta put them in here, okay? All right, let's get going. Number one, first and foremost, do not skip on heat protection. Every product, every line has heat protection out there now. I guarantee it, okay? This is something, even if you just blow dry your hair, you still need heat protection. Because as I've said it so many times, heat opens up the cuticle, you lose all those little molecules of hair color, whether it's natural hair color or artificial hair dyes, and you end up with brassy, fuzzy hair, okay? Because it's really hard to shut that cuticle back down. Uh, so don't skip your heat protection. Two, invest in a gentle but effective brush. A bristle brush, that's a nice one. Or a wide tooth comb. Number three, tailor your shampoo to your needs. Shampoo is the cornerstone of your hair care regime. So if you color your hair, use shampoo for color treated hair. If you need volume, use shampoo for volume to get volume in your hair. If you got oily hair, use shampoo for oily hair. I always say shampoo your scalp, condition your ends. So pick your shampoo for your scalp condition. If you have a dry scalp, get a shampoo for dry scalp. Make sure though, if you color your hair, it's for color treated hair too. Okay, um, number four try those claw clip hairstyles. What do I mean by that? Take a break from your elastics and your rubber bands for your ponytails and use one of those like butterfly clip things, alligator clip things, half up, half down, whatever. It's, it's more gentle on your hair. Number five, use a high quality conditioner. Okay, you can skimp on your shampoo if you want to, spend money on your, your conditioner. Your conditioner is gonna be put on your hair from mid strands to your ends, let it sit on there a few minutes and you want this to be a high quality product. You'll thank me later. Number six, throw out your hair ties. Just ditch them, okay? You know those hair ties, we all have them in our drawers, in our bathroom, and every time we use them, they're too tight. All they're gonna do is break off your hair. Just throw them out. Scrunchies are really making a big comeback, I don't know. They're not the cutest thing in the world and we've all lived through them before, but they're a lot more gentle on the hair. Um, number seven, be very diligent with your color care. Meaning if you're coloring your hair, use shampoos and conditioners specifically for color treated hair. And also don't over process your hair. There's a lot of over processed blondes out there. Don't overlap. If you're trying to do it yourself, be really, really, really careful. Don't overlap your color. It'll really put a lot of stress on your hair. Number eight, if you've got thin hair, then volumizing mousse is your best friend. That is a hot tip. Mousse expands your hair, gel contracts your hair. Number nine, treat yourself and your hair to a weekly mask, especially in the winter time. Number 10, Try no heat styling. Yeah. Try maybe putting braids in your hair, sleep in them. No, don't sleep with wet hair. Um, maybe just letting it air dry. Try to go with no heat. Number 11, use a blue or a purple shampoo if your hair is silver or gray. It'll get all the brassiness, all the yellow out. Number 12, how about going short? Yeah, I said it. If you got thin hair, uh, which a lot of us, are, that's happening to us, hormones and everything. Just try to go shorter, just a little bit shorter. If you've got longer hair, maybe go up to your um, collarbone. If you've got collarbone hair, go up right up. You know, it doesn't have to be short, just shorter. So you've got that nice, um, healthy, bouncy hair. Yeah. Number 13, add oil to your hair regime. Yeah, even if you've got fine hair. They've, they make wonderful oils that you can put on dry hair or wet hair. Just put it on the ends of your hair. Number 14, try a scalp massage. Have you seen those little brushes? They have the little nubs on them 
and you, you yeah massage your scalp in the shower nice nice especially if you have dry flaky scalp or like um psoriasis or something it feels so good number 15 embrace the gray hey you got gray hair coming in go for it it is so in right now and it could be so beautiful so if you're thinking about doing and going gray ask your stylist how she can get you there quicker faster so you don't have to cut all your hair off to get there number 16 make sure you're scheduling frequent work. number 16 make sure that you're scheduling frequent why can't i say that number 16 make sure you schedule your haircuts <laughs> there we got it <laughs> when you schedule getting your hair trimmed about every six to eight weeks your hair is going to be healthy i guarantee it um, number 17 have you tried a silk pillowcase my friend those are so wonderful so um, it just really makes it so your hair just slides it doesn't get tangled up and it's great for your face too with the wrinkles i don't know number 18 invest in a shower filter yes if you have hard especially if you have hard water you can buy those filters and you just just uh screw it onto your shower head and it's your hair will behave like it never has before love it and your scalp too sometimes uh, that dry flaky scalp is just from hard water number 19 maybe get a keratin treatment or a smoothing treatment yeah brazilian blowout is really really nice for the hair especially if you have frizzy hair and you're trying to flat iron your hair all the time if you get a keratin treatment it'll actually make it so you don't have to do that so it's actually healthier on your hair in the long run number 20 choose silk hair ties and scrunchies if you have a choice go for silk silk is always going to be more gentle on your hair than any other fabric um, it's just slides right out of the hair number 21 give your scalp a little tlc yeah put some uh, uh, maybe some aloe vera gel or some tree tea oil or something like that on your scalp and sleep with it at night wonderful number 22 make sure if you have curly hair you're using a diffuser and if you don't know how to use a diffuser i do have a video that'll show you how to use a diffuser and if you have questions about using a diffuser, hit me up. I'll help you walk through it, okay? Number 23, speaking of frizz, make sure you're adding some defrizzing ingredients to your hair regime, okay? They've got products out there that is just for defrizzing. Make sure you're using them because they work. Number 24, make sure you're brushing your hair from your ends to your roots okay how many times have we i've seen my daughter do this no don't do that if you got tangles in your hair brush it from the ends to the roots of your hair working your way up in sections you don't want to um, break your hair off number 25 avoid sulfate anything that you're using on your hair sulfates just strip it right off it's very drying it'll strip your color right out just no sulfates period number 26 don't shampoo every day. Yeah, I said it. Try to go every two to three days. Washing your hair too frequently, not real good for your scalp or for your hair. It'll just dry it out and strips your color off. 27, wear a silk wrap to bed. Yeah, especially if you have curly hair, it really protects your hair at night. And you can just take that silk wrap off and fluff your hair and be good to go. 28, have you tried to retire your hair dryer? Yeah. Make, make sure that just for better hair health, try air drying every once in a while. Just let your, air, your hair just air dry, see what you get. 29, avoid hot water. Yeah. I know it's, at least where I am right now, it's winter time and it really feels good to be in hot water, but your hair doesn't like hot water. Lukewarm water or cold water if you can stand it, but lukewarm water, your hair will thank you. Number 30. Have you heard of hair Botox? Hmm? <laughs> it's not really Botox. It doesn't have any needles or anything. It's just a very plumping conditioning treatment. And again, you might want to do it, um, go in for the treatment in the salon and it just plumps up your hair, makes your hair feel like there's more volume to it and it'll help so smooth all of the frizzies too. 
Number 31, try strengthening treatments. Again, this is an in-salon service and it's usually done at the, at the sink, but it's a strengthening treatment that actually puts more protein back into your hair if you've got fragile hair. And number 32, how about reacquainting yourself with your natural hair color? Yeah, oh my gosh, did I say that out loud? Yeah, what is your natural hair color? Have you seen it in a while? Um, I'm, I'm kind of making fun, but anyway, those are 32 tips. I hope they have uh, helped, at least given you some inspiration, get you started, and um, I had a good time putting this list together. So. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe our channel, pass this on to your friends, listen to our podcast, do all the things. Thank you for being part of this community. We love you for being here. And as always, remember, when you know better, you do better.